What's up YouTube? Back here today with another video. Uh, as I said, I just got access to CS2 yesterday, so uh, I've been playing around a little bit around the map, and uh, I feel like the biggest change in CS2 has to be shadows. Uh, there's now way too many shadows, lights, all of that, and I feel like it makes for a huge change to the game, because there's a lot of spots where because of the shadows you get a, an advantage or a disadvantage depending on the side you're at. Uh, of seeing someone first or them seeing your shadow first. So in this video I just wanted to touch on a couple of spots where I think uh, you might want to keep an eye out for whenever you're playing either CT or T side just so you're aware of these advantages that you could have. Right. So uh, I guess the first position could be playing somewhere around here alone. Uh, you can see there's a there's a light right here and right here and if you pay attention to my shadow you can see I'm casting a shadow forward so my shadow is actually going to show up before I do so this is a this can be a huge advantage if you're playing right here in the bathrooms same thing if you're playing in bathrooms right here uh, there's this light right here and you can see I'm casting the shadow forward so it's the same it's the same thing um, Right here on long, uh, also same thing. I'm casting the shadow forward, so if someone's playing like if they're playing behind sight, it might, it's my, it might not have be like a big deal. If they're playing like right here, it could be a better, a bigger advantage. Or I mean, if you're coming right here, also like this isn't a huge advantage if the guy's playing here. But if he's playing somewhere over there, uh, your shadow can definitely be a giveaway that you're coming. Especially if you're coming, like holding shift and whatnot. Uh, let's see. I feel like at B, there's also a couple good positions. Uh, I think the biggest one, this was also true for CSGO. Uh, this position right here is really good because you can spot the, the shadow, the enemy, before it. As you can see right here, my shadow is going way ahead of me. So this is a really good position, and now they even added this little railing right here, which feels like a really powerful position, because, like, it was really good in CSGO, because, like, it's really hard for people to check all the way here. Uh, this is definitely an off angle. You have, like, a height advantage of the guy coming out of a monster, and you get a shadow advantage of the guy coming out right here. As you can see, the shadow is ahead of me, unless he's, like, really hugging the wall. You can still see his shadow, but it's not that easy to spot. But no one's like hugging the wall to hard clear you, so yeah. Uh, from what I could tell, these are these are the biggest. I'm sure. I mean, there's definitely more positions where uh, that's true, but uh, definitely the most played positions is are those that I just showed you. So yeah. If you enjoyed these types of videos, if you want to see a little like more tricks in the future, more map knowledge, stuff like that, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll keep producing videos like this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys later.